Okay, we're going to be watching Duct Tape playing Winston on New Queen Street. This is PC, but it is unranked, because I think this is the first time they were ranked up, or like played competitive. Um, and it looks like the record's 2 and 3 right now. Hello everyone, this is my first time posting a review on the site, so I've recently been losing 2-3 to three games in a competitive PC pool. I wonder if I'm bad, or if my team is bad, and if the enemy has a higher rank than me and my team. I guess I am not flanking enough, or not targeting the healers or uh, DPS enough. I'm not sure you'll be able to tell me. I'd like you to look over my playstyle and tell me if I'm playing the character correctly or incorrectly. I adore Winston, and he is one of my most played characters. I assume quick play, and I don't want all the time I spent with him to be in vain. So I would start by saying your time is not in vain. I mean, first of all, if you had fun playing him, then that's already worth something, A. But B, you know, the time that you play him will make you better at him, even if you're not necessarily playing him optimally. Like, you'll, it's still part of the journey of getting better, right? <laughs> you know, it's just practice, practice makes perfect. There was another post you posted before this one that said, How to kill DPS and healers, the tank keeps targeting me. Winston main. I think I am losing my mind. I'm trying to kill squishies or just tickling someone. I die instantly because their tank keeps targeting me. I feel like I have no impact on the game whatsoever. Yes, Winston's not about kills. I mean, he's kind of about kills. But for some reason, I feel like killing someone who's half or below health is necessary for my team. I tried, I agree with that. I tried walking and flanking them to save my jump pack for later, but it never works. This question has been in my mind for the past three losing competitive games. I even watched How to Tank, yet they all say make space or something. <laughs> all right. And in response to that post, by the way, I said, make a big VOD review, post a replay code, rather. Um, and then they did. So I said that, you know, when I get home from work, then I would uh, take a look. So here we are. So I'm going to guess that this is going to be a very low rank game, um, probably low silver. To somewhere between mid bronze and low silver would be my guess. Um, could be even as low as bronze five. I mean, I don't know. I mean, you won two games, so probably not that low. Um, but most likely, you have very little understanding of like how to play Winston uh, optimally, which is fine. That's what we're gonna cover. So we'll see what happens. So for starters, uh, just looking at your team really quick. So well, on the left, uh, you have a Mercy and an Anna. Really good comp here, right? Mercy's probably gonna pocket your Ash. Um, Genji will be totally fine, and the Anna's gonna be most gonna be completely pocketing you for the most part. So you can be pretty aggressive here, right? Just maintain sight lines to your Anna. So for example, if you go, if your Anna's uh, probably at the stair, right? If you go around this corner, no good. Unless you have a plan. <laughs> your Anna cannot heal you. Fighting over here right now, this would be good, okay? Even fighting over here, that would be good. Fighting up here, also good. But the second you turn this corner, no good. Just think of that, that way. All right, so you have Ramatra, you have no interest in fighting the Ramatra, right? Not your job to kill tanks. So you already put this bubble down, this bubble is bad. Why is this bubble bad? Well, what does this bubble really do? Who's this bubble protecting? Nobody really, okay? Number one, the Pharah's already in your back line shooting at people, so that bubble's not helping. Number two, your Genji has deflect, or did have deflect. Yeah, he's deflecting right now. So you're actually preventing him from deflecting the Ramatra damage, which would help him farm ulti. And number three, the Ramatra's not even attacking you, right? So this bubble is giving you no value. And as Winston, as a general rule, if you put down a bad bubble, you're probably going to lose the fight. And right now you're probably thinking, okay, how do I know what a bad bubble is? That's very complicated and very nuanced, but I think an easy way that I've been telling people lately is how much damage could I do with the bubble? Like how much damage was I was able to do with the bubble that I wouldn't able to have been able to do without the bubble? Anything under 50 damage, for the record, you do 60 damage a second. Anything under 50 damage is like straight throwing. <laughs> I think if you do less than 50 damage with the bubble, it probably was a worthless bubble completely, and you should never have done it. Keep in mind this complexity here, right? If you block like a sleep dart or something like that, or like you know a, a widow headshot or something, like it, it just gets a little, a little, a little wonky. But anything under 50 damage, you're throwing. 50 to 100 damage, probably a bad bubble. 100 to 150, okay bubble, right? 150 to 200, fine bubble, right? Over 200, good bubble. Right? Let's 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 use that as a as as a base ballpark here. So for starters, here you're gonna put this bubble down. The Ramatra's not even targeting you, so you don't even need this bubble again. So none of the damage here counts until the Ramatra's attacking you. Now he's attacking you, and how much damage do you do once he starts attacking you? I don't know, 20 damage maybe. This is a bad bubble, and bubble breaks. So you have six seconds left on your bubble. The key thing here probably is to just chill and wait for a bubble, right? And maybe play corners or something or help deal with whatever was going on in your backline. I think the Pharah died, so you're actually okay here. So you can think about being aggressive, but again, you really want bubble here to actually do something. I would encourage you to not use right click. I think if you're new to the hero, which you are, right? Even if you played him for 100 hours in, in quick play, 
that's nothing compared to what it's like in competitive. I would say most Winstons I see use right click too much. Right now, you should be left clicking, not right clicking, because you do way more damage uh, per second using left click than right click. Okay, so you get lifted here. Right, you decide to jump in, but the thing is, if you jump the junk rat. For the record, the Junkrat can be healed by the Mercy and can be healed by the Anna. This is not so good. You generally want to attack people who can't be healed because then they die. <laughs> I mean, this probably seems logical, but yet this is what you are doing. You are diving someone who could be healed by two heroes right here. I assume you're going to bubble, but I'd like to clarify that if you died, for example, the Anna, the Anna can't heal herself, right, other than Grenade, which is a one use ability, and the Mercy is busy up here. So maybe the Mercy will come back, but at minimum, it'll just be just the Mercy healing the Anna and not the Mercy and the Anna healing. So you put Bubble down. Okay, how much damage did you get out of that so far? 40, maybe? Let's take a guess. I'm going to be generous and say that's 50 damage. I don't think it's actually 50 damage, but I'm going to be generous and say it's 50 damage. So, once again, another really bad bubble. Borderline throwing, I would say. Definitely less than 100, I think we can agree on that. You definitely didn't zap him for almost two seconds. So, another bad bubble. And what would have been a better bubble? Again, if you dove the Ana here. Right? If you dove in here to the Ana and then bubbled her off, right? Bubble dance to, to try to avoid sleep and avoid grenade. That would give you a ton more value than what you just did here, which is basically nothing. Alright, so you come back. Despite the fact that you're actually up by you in here, because remember the Pharah died, you really should have won this fight by now. Um, but it is uh, not going so well, because mostly because you don't actually know how to push your advantage. So you try to melee the Mercy, but you miss, because you're just a little short. So watch right here. You're going to jump. You're a little too far away. So you see, look at our health right now. So you're how, you do not hit her with your melee, because your melee does 30 damage, which is over one box. Each one of the boxes on our health bar are 25 health. So you miss her with the melee, you get some landing damage, but not even a full landing damage. Full landing damage is 50 damage, which is two boxes. You got about half damage right there. So you could have done 80 damage, and instead you did 25 damage. That is unfortunate. And that is what part of the reason why you cannot get kills. But then you put bubble down. But why? What is this bubble for? Right? What, what, what did this bubble help you accomplish? in this situation. I guess the Ana could shoot you a few times, but you're already being pocketed by your Mercy, so it's not like you're in any any danger here. So this bubble, right, again, if we evaluate bubbles by how much damage could you do with them, put the bubble down, and the bubble gives you zero damage, right? This bubble does not help you in any way. It does happen to help you here with the junk wrap, or your Ana at least, but that's honestly just kind of a coincidence more than anything else. <laughs> um, so, so far we've seen Three bubbles, all three bubbles were borderline useless. Either useless or borderline useless. Again, bubble is your like most important ability. Like You don't really have two abilities, right? You jump and you have bubble. If you waste bubbles, you will lose games. And you are wasting these bubbles. Um, yeah, okay, so right now you see that the... That's a good, pretty good zap. Yep, you're on the Mercy. So you have trouble tracking her. I think if you just tracked her through the air, you would have killed her there. Um, we're gotten pretty close to it, at least. Unfortunate, but she's low, and then you can charge right-click to try to kill her. All right, you went, you went for it, but um, she gets healed up. Yeah, you hit it, but she gets healed. All right, no problem. So you have 20 ammo. You put down bubble. Again, you can't really do anything with the bubble. And the fight is over. So why did you lose this fight that started with you getting a pick? Your team getting a pick, not you, personally. Let's rewind. All the way back to the start. So we start out here. You put down this bubble in a second. You see the Pharaohs in your back line, right? She probably should get a kill on the end of here, but she gets slept. Right, they kill her, great. Perfect, that's a pick. Your team should win the fight. So now is your opportunity to go in. If you are very slow about going in. Then finally, you do go in, but the problem is everyone just scatters away from you. You put down bubble, bubble doesn't help you do anything. You're not doing anything to stop the tank. You just take a lot of damage and then you're back up. The Ramacha's pushing forward, which forces everybody back. And the card's moving forward. So despite the fact that it's four and five right now, you actually are unable to do anything to the team. Like you're not able to get a kill or even get close to it. And because you're not taking any space, like you're not preventing their team from walking forwards, they just walk forwards and then they start killing people, right? Check Rocco here just kills the Ash. And now uh, you are in 
Oh, you're junk. You're Genji died at some point. When did Genji die? Oh, you guys were there. Yeah. Well, uh, that that one you couldn't do so much about. I think if you got it earlier, you could have. But at that point, there's not much you can do. About. So it's four and four, right? And then you kind of let them block into your team, and then they kill the Ash. And at this point, it's now three and four, right? You plus two supports against four people. And then you kind of whiff this. Right, you really have to get at least one kill here to even possibly even it up. You don't, so it all goes haywire, and that's why you lose. Okay, next fight. So you can do a longer jump than that. So if you angle further up, like 45 degrees, that gives you maximum distance. You could have actually landed on this jump grab. And I will, I will send you a guide on how to uh, do jumps on Winston, because you will... It's very, very important, Winston, to have... have Precise jumps and understand how to do short, medium, long range jumps. So, one rocket flies by and you put down bubble. How much damage are we getting out of this bubble? Zero. So, yet another. So, that's your fourth wasted bubble of the game. So, you're over four right now. You're just poking the back line, which is not great. Not terrible. I mean, I don't know why your team is ro rotating this way. This is clearly a mistake. I, I think you should be advancing into them while you have numbers advantage. Because it's about to be 5 and 4, you're squeezing from two different directions. So I think you really need to advance here. I think going backwards is a curious decision because... Alright, again, your jump is too short. You really want to get further, deeper in to do the landing damage. Alright, this is a quite, a quite a short jump. But it does happen to land on the Pharah, which felt more like luck than anything else. There's no reason the Pharah should have been on the ground. You are reasonably good at the short jumps. I don't know if it's intentional or not, but your short jumps are pretty good. You really want to kill this Anna, but the Anna's going to get the Mega. Go after the Ramatra. Or actually, go after the Sports. Actually, this is good. This is good. I like this. Okay, you pop bubble here. Uh, not a, yet another useless bubble. Doesn't really hurt you, so I won't count against you. So, you're 0 for 4 right now. You're AFK for some reason. Okay, Winston's, or Junkrat's clearly injured and out of position. You just saw him use uh, mine and miss. You should jump him right away. I don't know what you're holding for. You jump too late, and then you throw another bubble. This bubble, you definitely are going to regret, so you're now 0 for 5. The bubble's clearly not going to do anything. Just, like, looking right here, obviously not going to help you in any way. Again, you see the Ramatra is out of position. He's here. He's low. Your whole team is shooting at him. You should just dive him right now, right? Just jump straight in, commit into him. Instead, you choose not to. He dies anyway, which is kind of lucky. Fair's in the air. You jump. This is an okay jump. Yeah, you can even melee in the air. Yeah, that's fine. Could have put down, uh, bubble down, see if she potentially splashed and killed herself. You go up to the Mercy, that's fine. Probably better for you to just uh, right-click her. Okay, wow, that's a good good hit. Yeah, almost. Good effort. Uh, so remember Guardian Angels every two seconds for Mercy. So you can wait like just a little bit longer for the Guardian Angel and then jump after her. So going for the Mercy, which I like, you know, of all things to do right now, I guess that's kind of your best option. Uh, you saw back here the Junkrat in the corner of your eye. Right? It's, it's fast, but in-game, I would have noticed this. Right there. You saw that? You, so you can see the Junkrat on the right. You should go kill a Junkrat, because otherwise the Junkrat's going to kill your backline. And it's very easy. You just jump the Junkrat, you plus the Ash, insta-kills him. No problem. Instead, you're still obsessed with trying to shoot this Mercy. Now you jump in into nothing. I'm pretty sure you meant to land on the Ana, but you can't control your jump distance, so you go too far. So now you're just stuck in, the, in no man's land. You're zapping the Ana, gets killed. You put this bubble down. Doesn't really do a whole lot. Get the Mega, good. Good that you know where the Mega is. They're rezzing, but I don't think you can stop that. So you definitely have an opportunity to escape here. Jump and then go right out this window, and I think you would live, but also dying is not the not the worst right now, because your team just lost the fight anyway. Coming back out. So you hear the shot, you see the rocket, you put down bubble instinctively, unfortunately the Ash is nowhere close to you. Don't bother shooting the fur. Again, Mercy heals 55 damage a second, it's not, you're never gonna be allowed to damage that. So get her super low, great, good, good kill. Right, definitely a good kill. You can even think about right clicking the, the bear down now. Just try to try not to take too many rockets. She's being healed right now. You're still on her, which is fine. Nope. And not fine. You get a little too I mean I would have put bubble down because you get pretty low. 
at this point. 450, 477, 390, right? 291, I definitely bump bubble down. Because I don't want to get killed there, like really, really quickly, which is exactly what happens. She ults and just kills you. What should you have done instead? I think at a certain point, you just kind of give up on the Pharah. Go here. Like, if she wants to fly over here. Yeah, I think I think mostly it's just the bubble. I think I kind of understand the chase. I think mostly it's just about putting the bubble down and then using the bubble to, bu to, to, to bubble dance. If you don't know what bubble dancing is, uh, I could try to demonstrate later if there's a bubble down, but you can also look online, like YouTube, and you can find videos of bubble dancing. Mercy's dead. Your whole team is staggered really badly right now because uh, people are not grouping up. You put bubble down. Again, this bubble is not going to do a thing. No one's even looking at you. Spares on your ready. You really do not want to fight this for Matra. Ideally, you want to go for the Ana right now, but you're super low and your supports, I'm pretty sure, are busy. All right, so your Ana is actually dead in a second. Yeah, so she's getting killed all the way on the, the this flank for some reason. Unfortunately, there's no way you can fight this with the Anna. I would just go home. All right, you should look at the kill feed, understand, hey, look, teammates are dead. I'm down two. Right, you're not going to win a five on three. Just leave. You don't want to die and get staggered. Definitely do not go in. So Anna's healing you up right now. You decide to dive in despite only have three hundred fifty health. Um, you do have primal, so that's fine. Again, stay on the stay on the Anna. Right? She doesn't have a grenade anymore, so you, she's definitely killable. Not the best primal mechanics, but not the worst I've seen either. I've definitely seen worse ones than that. We'll take it. Okay, go for the res. Your jump is short, but you know, get the kill. And Ferret kills you. That's okay. I mean, you killed two supports there. Okay, you used, you used ultimate, but you killed two supports. That's okay. So in this situation where you see the Ramatra is super low, especially if you don't know he doesn't have Nemesis, you could have landed behind him and bubbled. He died anyway, but just something to think about. Right, so you're doing a good job staying in I think I would think about following this, but... You good? Good kill. Close. Yeah, don't worry about finding the Ramatra. Tyre's here. Uh, you're going to survive. I would just go to your Ana right now and just put bubble down. so she. Because you see your Ana over there, okay? So what I would have done in this situation is just jumped over. I mean, I would have gone for this door. But jump over to your Ana and just pop bubble and just get healed up. Because once you're healed, you and the you and the Ana can beat the Ramatra easily. Unfortunate. Nope, you get it. Again, you really need healing here. Once again, another bubble that you place down that nobody is shooting at. Honestly, even if your bubble usage was better, this would make a huge difference in this game. You should jump her there. Like, why not? Like, you've very little to lose. You've already killed, like, three... three-ish people. Just jump and land on top of her. She hits the sleep. She hits the sleep. No big deal. It's worth it to, to, to stagger her. The cart's already moving. So as a reminder, cart in push mode, only in push mode, does not move any faster with more players. Regular cart load moves faster with one three, but cart in push modes only move at one x speed. I think you pursued this. I would have zap, 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 zap. Right there, I would do short jump. Right, short jump on top of her, melee, she instantly dies. Even if she gets the green off, fine. You just zap her for another second, she's dead. Oh, the Anna's right here. What the heck? Anna drops out the window, you see? Right here? On your right? Hello? So let's, let's watch this. Y'all just hanging out together? Or do you not do you not realize this? You're you're actually completely tunnel vision. <laughs> well that's a new one. Alright. Mercy dies. Um 
So you are actually not in danger of dying. You're at 350 health when you pop that. You could have just reloaded and then kept zapping or something. Now you have Primal, which is honestly not that great of an ulti if you don't really know what you're doing. This is pretty good juggling so far, but again, this is nothing that you couldn't have done if you already still had, if you didn't even have Nemesis. Oh, why, fall? why not back away? Right? When he starts running away, just keep zapping him. Just keep running, run with him. You see how you slow down right there? Then it breaks the beam. If you just kept running with him, then the red your left click would kill him, and you didn't have to worry about hitting the right click. Alright, so bubble goes down. Again, another situation where you don't really get any value with the bubble. Right, you just kind of bubble to bubble, whether or not it's like useful or not. For example, you could dive the Anna right here in bubble, you could dive the Soldier right here in bubble. Those are much higher values than just standing in the, in the center with bubble up. You definitely do not want to wake through Sumatra. Okay. So again, don't fight. Yeah, that's good. Right, now you forced the Anna down from high ground. I think she was already dropping anyway, but we'll pretend that you forced her down. Now you put bubble. This is a good bubble, right? Finally, you can do damage. You could have killed her right there just stayed with her or did the, the short jump. I mean, you're probably going to die for it though, but I think you're going to die anyway because you already lost three people on your team. So to, to kind of analyze, like, why did you, why did, why is this fight already over, right? It was five on five and then it turned to three and five very quickly. So Ramatra pops his E. You're going to go pretty soon. He's on your supports. Zapping, sort of holding him back. Now he goes forwards. He pops his ulti. Nobody's focusing him. He just... Kills a couple of people. There's another E, catches the Mercy, and then you die. So you're just not, you're just not doing as much. I mean, obviously he had ulti, so he was able to get more value, but you just didn't do enough when you had opportunities to. And by the time he has ulti, there's nothing you can do to stop it. It's not really your job. But... So your right clicks do not go through shields. Your left click does, the beam attack does. But the cleave attack, it's not really a beam attack. So close range fights with Pharah while she's being pocketed, not so good. You might notice that she's actually wrecking you right now. You've already lost 300 something health and you only did like 50 damage to her. So you do a jump here, I think you hit the awning. Yeah, also, but like, I don't even know where this jump was supposed to go. You want to land right here? Like, that's not valuable. Just shift to the left a little bit and then go after the Anna. That's value. Or drop through the window and go from behind. Fear pops ulti. That's actually a heck of a backwards jump. Wow. <laughs> that's a, a very fast snap. It's You snap so fast, I had to confirm that you actually moved your mouse. Oh, fight's over. Uh, or game's over, overtime. Okay, so honestly, it didn't look that bad. Uh, if I had to guess, I'm gonna say you're gonna play s Silver Four. <laughs> Just as that, throwing something out there. I, I, you might play Bronze, but I think you're better than Bronze already. Um, just like from like your general mechanics and reaction time, I think you're already better than bronze. I think the primary issue here is you don't really know where to dive, when to dive, or how to use bubble. Those are your biggest issues. Um, and I kind of highlighted them here, but mostly it's just about going after people that are isolated and can't burn you down, which requires you to just understand what enemy heroes do, all right? So in this situation, for example, if all my whole team is, is lined up, except for that one person they're shooting in the sky or whatever, you can dive into all three and put bubble down because your whole team will help you put pressure down. But if your team's not here, this is not a safe dive, for example. Let me just pick a, another few examples. I mean, I pretty much cover them all the time, of like who to dive and where to dive. But yeah, definitely dive here, kill the, kill the Ana, or you're not gonna get it. Oh yeah, this is where the jump crash just strangely throws his life away. So back here, this, as I mentioned, listen slash look slash you saw on your screen to go kill the jump crash. All right, but let's ignore the Junkrat for a second. The best target here is probably going after the Ana, because the Pharaoh's pocketed, the Mercy's already in the air. Jump here on the Ana, put Bubble down, right? Zap, 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 maybe she gets slapped, maybe we don't. Moira might come to help. Moira comes to help, then switch over and go after the Pharaoh again, all right? Or zap both of them at the same time. No more Mercy, all right? Or come back to the front line, but... We need to rescue the robot. 
That's uh, the biggest issue right here. Okay. Hopefully this is like a little bit helpful. Again, I'll I'll put in uh, a link to some Winston content as well for 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 jump guides, and then also I'll link um, a timestamp for one of my Winston games, or at least one a Winston section for you to take a look and see how the gameplay might differ and what you might be able to learn. Okay, hope that was helpful.